Yeah. Big fish of the day right here. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. How did he get off? He's still on there. Recording. Welcome back to another video. We are bass fishing again here out at Lost Grove. Last trip was cut a little short by some uh, equipment malfunction. We had a broken rudder cable, so I got that repaired now. We're back on the lake and uh, I don't know, hoping to hook into one of these big bass that uh, people catch out here, hoping for a five plus pounder. So we got on a good pattern last time out here. Maybe we'll pick that up where we left it, although today is a little different condition. Still windy. We'll get into some bays and maybe it won't be as big of a factor. Of course I forgot my anchor again, so we've got that going for us. But yeah, let's uh let's get back into one of these bays and see what we can do. It's a busy day here. It's, you can see, I don't know, 40 or 40 or 50 boats from where I'm at right now, but that doesn't mean anything. We'll, we'll still get after them and see what we can do. Anyway. Here we go. I don't know where that anchor would come into play. Drop that sucker down. Then you can stand up and fan cast this entire bay without having to deal with constantly working the rudder and pedaling to keep out of the bank. But no, somebody has to forget the anchor again. out this bay and then if we don't get anything I'll move on. There's another bay I want to check out. There we go. Oh yeah. He got off. Oh, shoot. Oh. How did he get off? He get off. Oh, he's not off. He's still on there. He's still on there. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Okay. There we go. Fish number one. middle where we can deal with him. That's a decent one. <laughs> Man, he felt big. Must have been a while since I caught a good fish. I'm gonna guess 15 and a half. No, well, let's go 15. We're gonna go 15 on this guy. Let's guess 15. Not even close. 14 and a quarter. Man, thought he was bigger. There we go, fish number one anyways. I don't know how I thought he got off, unless, honestly, it's possible he got off and another fish picked it up. I mean, that sounds far-fetched, but that fish felt so big on the hook set that I don't know that it's impossible. I'll switch over to the map. So I've colored in green the uh, 8 to 10 foot depth range. So we're going to try and troll that with an 8 foot crankbait and see how we do. Um, 
unfortunately that wasn't very productive. So I'm just gonna try and cast out this bank and then head to our next spot. We are going to try the magic of the rattle trap on this rock bar up here. There we go. There's a fish right there. Didn't take long at all. Little guy. Didn't take long. There's one, there's more, eh? Let's find another one. Yeah, not too bad. So it's like maybe a big fish of the day right here. I don't know, maybe a 16 and a half. Quick measure on him. And 16 and a half exactly. Look at that. If we can get 16 and three quarter out of him, I don't think so. 16 and a half. Boom. There we go. Fishing that rock bar that we found. Look at that. Nice bass. Rattle trap action. Alright, I think we're going to call it a day. It's a little slow today. We caught, what, uh, three or four bass. Nothing of any real size either. 16 and a half right here at the end. So. Nice day to be on the water, but just kind of exploring, looking for some new places in the, on the lake to fish. So. As we kind of get this like dialed in, I hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck. But uh, yeah, perfect evening. Wind died down a little bit. Nice sunset. Still lots of people out on the lake enjoying their day off. So yeah, I guess we'll uh, wrap it up here and we'll catch you on the next one.